Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for taking the time to check out today's tips and tricks video. So folks, today we have a, a, a little conundrum. We're uh, working within uh, X Lights and we're, we're doing some importing sequences. So typically when we import a sequence, we go to, uh, we, we usually would download the sequence either from the X Lights program or if we purchase a sequence uh, and we download it, we save it into a folder. Let me go bring up a folder and uh, I'll stumble through this so that you guys can see exactly what I mean. So let's say we have a uh, we have our folder here uh, this is my folder and whenever I do a sequence I have an import sequences folder that I extract a downloaded packaged sequence into so I'll go in here and I'll have some of these songs that are uh, imported and so forth and what I'll do is I'll extract them here and then with X lights I will point X lights directory here the setup page I'll go here and change and I will do a, uh, a directory setup inside one of these directories that is my actual um, that is my actual uh, imported sequence. So what you would then do after you've after you've downloaded the sequence and you've saved it in that import directory, you open that sequence in their layout, whoever's layout it is, whoever you purchase it from, or whoever shared it with you, and then you would render the sequence and you would save the sequence. So a couple of wonderful things happens whenever you render and save a sequence after you download it in their folder, and that is it creates a link that's meant for your hard drive, literally for your hard drive, for your file structure on your computer, so that it can find all of the images, if images were used, such as an image on a mega tree or on a image of, uh, of something on your matrix panels and so forth. And what we're finding is, is that people forget to do the import and then, when, or well, they forget to do the open sequence in the layout that was provided, render and save it. So if you have images that you know should be there and they are there, they're just not linked, this video is gonna be meant for you. So recently I created the Lego video. Uh, that was the uh, sequence of the month for March 2018, 2019 that is. And, um, and some people are importing it like normal, but they're not uh, rendering the sequence before they open it in their layout. So what I want to show you is if you're just doing a straight import of a sequence and you're you're uh, you're selecting uh, whatever it is. Let me let me find let me just find a sequence here that uh, uh, I'm failing again. Look at this. I look silly. Images. Those are images. I don't want to go to images. New Year's. Uh, let's just pick a sequence. Any sequence. Here we go. And there we go. So doesn't matter. I'm not going to do the import. But if I were doing the mapping, this is what most people would do. If you haven't rendered this sequence and you pull in the mega tree and the mega tree or the matrix panel has images, it won't bring the file path in correctly because this sequence over here was not rendered on your machine, on your computer, with your file structure. It's still in the file structure that was on the person's original computer. So that's what we're trying to get over today is if you imported a sequence, what happens when you click on the picture and the picture doesn't show up? So this is a very easy problem to fix. And I, I know it took me about two minutes to explain the process, but to get right down to it, from here, we're going to do one very, very simple thing. We're just going to select the picture effect. Now, it shows here we have a path. It's telling me, okay, the path here should be here, but whenever I go there, there's no image. So it can't find the image. It's not displaying it. Now, if I click on an effect, we can see the effect works just fine. So the, so the, um, uh, and if we, even if we render, it's still not going to do anything. Um, but but we can tell that we have an issue just in general. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to hold the key uh, the key the control key down, and I'm going to press the A letter A lowercase letter A key. And what that does is that selects every effect. Now notice I selected first the image or the picture effect. Okay, and what this will do is this will bulk edit every single image in this sequence to point to one specific directory. There, the, you just make sure that everything here is in that folder. And if it is, it will point, 
those file names that these files have been given, we can go up here right here to the um, to the uh, browse window here, right click, and we can edit the path to which the files are at. So if we select bulk edit, once again we right clicked bulk edit, and now I go into the images directory and I find the actual images for this sequence. So let's say, um, what sequence was this again? Do you hear what I hear? CD, do you hear what I hear? So if I select this, all of my images are in here in this folder. I'm going to select this folder, and now you can see that we've been able to bring in all of the images. If we hit render, uh, this shouldn't take too very long. And this is a simple way to, uh, if you didn't open up the sequence that was supplied to you, rendered it, and saved it under that original layout, then it didn't create a file path for you. So when you did your import, it was still attached to the original computer's file directory. So now all we've done is we went through and we have uh, recreated. Do the shepherd boy. You can see that we've recreated the path. It's uh, mapped all of the uh, sequencing right to the specific location of those uh, of those images. So, uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, uh, you know what to do. Uh, make sure if you have any comments or questions, put those down below in the comment section. And also, I want to remind you, Pixel Pro Displays has an awesome sequence club where every month when you sign up for the membership program, you get one sequence included with your membership. It's a very, very, very good program that only costs a few dollars each month. If you're interested in having us do a couple sequences for you and being able to quickly and easily, the original Easy Import and the original Sequence Club, we have set this up for you guys. So have a look. Check us out. If you appreciate the videos, support us by becoming a member just to say thank you. We, we really uh, enjoy bringing the content to you. And if you guys like it, then we'll keep doing it. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you again in the next video. Down through the chimney with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. <laughs>